the way things are with the emergency rental assistance program currently and, and how things have been going and where things are uh, standing, we um, really have built this program in Cabarrus County from the ground up. From day one, um, it was really our goal and our mission to launch an application that was online. So uh, it was a, a real collaborative effort from all departments with the county. We were very strategic in how we rolled this out. We um, made a lot of efforts to reach out to our community partners and making sure that they first and foremost knew about the emergency rental assistance and what it had to offer and what the requirements were. Our recent collaborative effort has been with Cooperative Christian Ministries. Uh, CCM has really graciously come alongside of us. Uh, we were able to um, allow them to assist with administering the funds. So a really uh, a collaborative effort on their part to come alongside of us and be able to assist us with processing these applications. So far to date, we have been able to make payments to $2.3 million. Uh, going out to vendors, landlords, and utility providers uh, in Cabarrus County to be able to assist those that have applied. Really, uh, where things stand at, at this point in time, we have grown our staff. Uh, we realized quick out of the gate that um, the number that we thought could handle the volume, we quickly needed to increase those numbers. And another reason of why we um, asked Cooperative Christian Ministries to come alongside of us and, and partner with us uh, to increase staff to be able to process the number of applications that are coming in. When you do apply online, you do receive a confirmation email. Uh, we do encourage you to share that with your landlord and utility providers to let them know you've started the process. And you can also check in with us at any time to see whether or not um, we have received your application, if for some reason you didn't receive the confirmation email, or if you just want to do a quick check-in, uh, you can reach out to us by phone um, as well as email. So those that are eligible right now for uh, ERAP would be anyone that has um, past due rent or past due uh, utility uh, bills, and those that have been indirectly or directly impacted by COVID. We want to uh, make sure that the community knows about this program. We want to make sure that you know how to apply. And um, we also want to make sure that we stress to our landlords and utility companies to have compassion on, on uh, the community at this time that are facing um, a, a need right now. We really want to encourage the community to come together and work together to make sure that those that really need uh, to stay in their homes or able to stay in their homes. So what's next for ERAP? Um, we are continuing to process applications. We are, uh, like I mentioned earlier, we have grown our staff to be able to handle the demand. We continue to evaluate that and um, make sure that we are meeting the needs of the community. We're going to continue to grow our partnership with CCM. Um, getting that launched has been a success and so we want to continue to grow those efforts um, to meet the, the growing need of the community and making sure that we are able to um, spend these funds that have been entrusted to us.